Hey guys, Targo Cyclone FPV, and I'm getting ready to do another build. I just got done doing the uh, Floss 220, I think it was 220, yeah, Floss 210, 220, whatever it was. And now I'm going to do the Martian, uh, what is this, the Martian 2, I believe this is a 220. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this open here, and we'll do another screen and picture in picture like this. All right, and so let me get this open real quick, and we'll look at the contents, see how everything is going. Uh, yeah, that was a Floss 210. All right, now we're going to do the Martian 2. And so let's go ahead and get everything open and see what we've got. We'll get some measurements on the board, on the arms and everything. See how thick these things are. Uh, so let's, all right, let's see. Here we go. All right. Whoa. All right, let's get this trash. Get that out. Okay, landing pads. Again, I'm not going to attach them. Uh, so this, interesting enough, is that this board comes with uh I'm not sure how I would take this though like okay so this is supposed to be I guess a PDB um except it's just really I guess it's distributing power but kind of um like without any without any regulator or anything else so you kind of get just getting raw voltage here so I'm gonna say no to this excuse me Long day. I'm gonna say no to that. Okay, now it does come with an XT60 connector as well, but I mean, honestly, get something that actually has protection and voltage protection and looks better and more reliable. All right, so let's just let's stick with the frame on this company and not worry about the components. All right, you can get those uh, better stuff from somewhere else. All right, so let's just keep going here. Open this up. Let's open the screws up. Now we got our standoffs. Let's get the screws open. So we'll put our standoffs over here. Get our carbon fiber piece over here so we can measure them. Let me move these kind of down a little bit. Let's just put our screws right here. All right. And then we've got our nylon standoffs, which we'll leave right there. Those are going to be for like, you know, once you add your board and stuff. And you get this carbon fiber, these parts out of here. There we go. Oh, that's G10. This is G10 FR4, one of my favorite materials. All right. And then we've got a couple other things here. Camera, camera. Uh, I'm going to have to see where all this stuff would go. So I may have to check on that and see. All right, so let's just start taking a measurement here. So let's get our calipers out and zero that out. Uh, about two millimeters. Yep, about, that says 191. So it's going to be less than two millimeters. And again here, uh, this is one and a half millimeters. So you've got your bottom plate at two or a little under. You've got your top plate at about one and a half. Okay. Camera side plate is probably be one and a half as well. Pretty close. Okay. And then your G10 FR4. Okay, now this looks like to be the same shape almost as this, which then means that they're gonna kind of go together. And I do have to say that I will give them props on this because most people don't even know about this. And I'm one of the few that actually uses this material still. I love it, I wish everybody would use it, uh, but that's not conductive, right? Unlike carbon fiber, which is conductive, G10 is not. Okay, so we got those, we need to get our arm, our arm uh, width, by the way, so sorry. About what? Okay, 4.04. All right, so four millimeter arms. All right, so with that said, let's just kind of lay this out and see what we're gonna do. Cause I've got a couple parts here I'm not really sure about right now, but uh, the way this looks like it's gonna go is gonna be kind of similar like this. And then it looks like we're gonna have the next one. Okay. Okay, so what we can do is we can get started. Don't forget these arms are gonna go on the bottom with the uh, well, I say that, but now that the way they've done this, let me check something. I want to see, let me see if I can see what they have done here. Because normally, okay, so there's a difference being they've actually done something different this time. And I mean, it's okay, I guess. So here's what, here's what's being done here. Um, what they've done is they've, built this or they made this in such a way to where the arms actually going to go on the inside and they're going to go and reduce the room here and you're going to actually bolt into this g10 now this part i do like very smart um so let's just see where we're at with the screws on this um so we have our 30 and a half which is our inside holes and uh also one two three four one two three four okay so <clears throat> we can do one two things we'll put the standoffs on in just a second but let's go ahead and get these uh, arms fastened. So to do that, let's look at the screws that come with this and see <coughs> if there's a difference in length here. Most of these look like the same size. It actually looks like most of the long screws are all the same size. No, this is different. It's a shorter screw. So 
take the longer screw. Uh, oh, hold on a second. Let me see how much they do on the shorter one. Just for... Yeah, that's going to be too short. All right, so the arms are going to use the longer one. And in this case, I'm going to say that we're going to go ahead and we're going to send this this direction. Uh, now, if you want to uh, mount it the other way, you can. Whereas the uh, screw is coming up and the fastener is going on the top, that's up to you. But um, I'm not so sure. Uh, let me see how I want to do this here. Let's do it this way. And for me, I'm just going to go mount this the other direction. So I'm going to send the screw downward and I'll put the fastener at the bottom. And that's just my preference because I know that the battery's going on the top and then I've got landing pads, so I'm not really worried about this. Uh, screw's getting damaged. So let's just do that, right? And let's line this up. So now we've got the 30-30 mount here. So I'm gonna take another longer screw and go here. And this way I'm gonna come up actually this direction. And here's where you would normally put <coughs> Sorry. Now you normally put your standoff. Or I mean your your nylon standoff. So let me let me just get that out real quick because it'll make more sense once I do this. And then what I would do is because we've got a 2020 stack and we're not using it. Or that looks like much smaller actually. That's much smaller than 2020. Hold on a Let's see what this is. So this is a 12 uh, by 16. Uh huh. Hmm. I know, we'll see what is the purpose of this one, but for right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the next long screw, right? And we're gonna send it down the reverse way. And this is gonna give our arm some serious stability, okay? So let's do that. And you know you can't go the other way because you wouldn't want it to be that close to your flight controller. All right, let's take this the next arm, put that in place, and again, the long screws. Send one to the bottom here, and send one to the bottom uh, here, there we go. Let's get this to line up at least. There we go. Okay, I'm not making this go on, so hang tight a second. There we go. Let's put the fastener here. Put the fastener here. good I mean they definitely they did cut the carbon fiber well it's going the right direction I mean I cut a lot of carbon fiber and I've seen a lot of companies that cut corners and cut it and they don't really care about the direction and what that does is it makes for a pretty weak carbon fiber um, all right so they did a good job on this part remember you always want your carbon fiber weave to be going the direction uh, of, of the cut right so if it's going the opposite direction then if uh, your cut is going one way Let's say this is long lengthwise, and your cut is your weave is going this way. Then your your carbon fiber will bend a lot easier that way, and that makes it pretty uh, pretty unstable, and that makes for a cheap quad, cheap frame. Uh, the reason people cut it like that is because when you start cutting carbon fiber, if you know about the cost of carbon fiber and the amount of time it takes, it's pretty extensive uh, work, and it's a very expensive material. Uh, and you know when you if you don't measure properly then if you lay your parts out wrong, you're gonna end up with all this extra carbon fiber, but it's not gonna be like, let's say um, you need to cut this in this wing, obviously you need the pattern to go top to bottom like this. Well, let's just say that when you're done cutting, you only have a left to right to go, or I'm sorry, at an angle, let's say. So if you had an angle left and your carbon fiber is going this way, this arm is gonna start bending and that makes it weak, but you don't wanna throw the carbon fiber out. It's usually just poor planning on the, on the person who's cutting to not have the right carbon fiber or not lay out his material properly to get the most out of the cut. So long story short, at the end of the day, it's just cutting corners that allows that to happen. Now, that's my speech on that. It happens a lot. I've seen frames, as a matter of fact, I've got one here that a company sent me. Um, and uh, three of the four arms were cut properly. One was cut because they clearly uh, ran out of space on the board, so they just cut it the opposite direction. And that arm, as a matter of fact, you know what? Let me see if I can let me find it for you. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Sorry, but I think it's important for you guys to see that. Oh, where did I put it? It's so hard to find stuff around here now. Uh, <laughs> trying to see if I have it hung up back here. And I don't 
don't see it up here. So maybe I have it laying down. Well, I'll try one more second to find it. If I can't find it, I'll show you guys in another video. But uh, it's real obvious. Yeah, I don't know where I put it now. I'm sure it'll pop up eventually here. But it's real obvious. You can tell that the company did not cut the arm properly. And it flexes. I mean, it's really, really strange. I know, I just saw it. But I've been moving frames around. Anyway, so three of the frames are really tough like this. And the, the fourth frame, you literally just bend it like, like, like a noodle. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. But they shipped them out like that. I guess not really caring about it, thinking somebody wouldn't catch it. And it got to me. And Sorry, I'm still looking for it. I'll say, anyways, okay, let's get back to this. Um, so, yeah, you got to watch out for stuff like that, okay? Uh, all right, let me go ahead and do this. And then let's put the next ones. Okay. All right, here we go. So that will take care of this for now. Now I'm not tightening any of this down all the way because we still got some stuff to look at here. Um, but even with it loose, these arms are pretty solid right now. Okay, so uh, this would be your camera mount, right? And this would be your camera mount here. All right, and then you put your top plate on, but we've got to put our standoffs on first. And then somehow, I believe, is it here? Or it's here? Somewhere, no, it's here. Somewhere this is gonna be sitting like this, but for what, I have no idea yet. I'm just gonna find that out and we'll see. All right, so let's get to putting in our, our standoffs, okay? So um, I'm pretty sure that they have designed this to where, see how many screws we got left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, you know, this company just gives a lot of extra screws and I have no idea why. Seven, but they did not design those screws for here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the shorter screws. Now, just for the sake of it, I wanna see if the longer screws even work. So let's try to use a long screw to see if we can fasten this down. Sometimes the threading stops early and you can't. And this seems to be just like that. So let me check this out and see if we can push past the thread. No, that's it. So these long screws were not made for this. Um, they're about two millimeters too long, but uh, so I would recommend, you know, like if you have a set of screws at the house, M M3s, I would probably upgrade the screws because these seem kind of short. I mean, I like to fill the standoff with as much of the metal from the screws possible. Just makes it stronger, um, but it's fine. For right now, this will work just fine. Let's just do this so we can get the build going and I can show you what it should look like. All right, so we'll put our standoffs here and here. but I see so many I mean all the frames are pretty much copies of frames you know, it sucks but that's just the way it is that's the that's the industry I, I get it you don't have to like it but you do have to understand that I mean, as much as you want it to be sacred and you want your designs to be yours and doesn't always happen that way so don't get all your feelings hurt I used to get my feelings hurt if I saw my frame and then somebody goes and copies it I'm like man I just realized that that's just the way it is. So these Martians have been copied over and over and over again. I mean, but it's a good frame. It's a very basic, but very solid frame. All right, so let's see where we're at. Um, I don't think I used the right screw here. Let me just check this one. Because I know there's also a very small, much smaller screw. So there's a medium one. This one is not the one I wanted. I want the medium. See, there's a medium one like this one right here. I want to use these instead. These could be, because it's the bottom plate now, the top plate can use the smaller one because it's much smaller carbon fiber by um, about one millimeter. And that's about right. So let me just make sure I got all these right. Anything that I used a super small screw on, like this one, 
going to replace that with a medium screw and then I'll use the smaller ones for the top frame. So there's that. Okay. Let me just check the back ones now. That's another small one, so for the medium. There you go. I assume then that this is what I also did, so. Let's go ahead and open that real quick. Yep. All right. So again, don't make that mistake that I made. Make sure to save the small screws here for the top plate. Okay. And then find your medium screws. Uh, where am I at here? <laughs> Let me get that out as well. Okay. And let's, we're not going to use that PDB. And then we'll go ahead and get here. There we go. I don't want that one. I want this one here. All right. Okay. Now with that ready, again, like I said, I'm not tightening it all down just yet, but with that ready, now what I can do is I can start laying out the rest of it. So we know that we're gonna put our camera here. Right, and we'll put our other camera stand here. Uh, yeah, because it gives you an option here. You can go higher on the camera stand. So cause it's all going to depend on how this is going to lay out. But I'm just going to leave it, leave it in the way I did it initially. And then depending on how the camera sits, I can always flip it over. So let's put this here. There we go. It's got our top plate. Well, before I do that, I, I do know that this, I'm going to put this right here, right now, okay? But this seems to fit right here, and for that, I'm going to need these standoffs, okay? So let me see how we want to do this. There's a standoff, and uh, let's take... I don't know how this is going to fit, but let's see. That's going to be, I think, too big, but we'll see. Can't imagine they want that medium screw to go here, but I'm curious now to see how they want to lay this out. So let's just go ahead and find out. But when I'm looking at these screws here, I'm thinking, there's not really enough. Oh, no, this might actually work pretty good. All right, so there, this goes like this. And then you take your fastener. You got to put it right here. And I'm going to go ahead and get the next one done. And then by doing that, I can go ahead and fasten this back up. Oops. I need to loosen that just a little bit. Uh, this is kind of a, I'm not really sure I'd even use this piece, but I put, I put it on there anyway. I don't see the purpose behind it right now. Um, unless maybe you're trying to raise your antenna off uh, the frame. I don't really know. This doesn't really make much sense to me as to why I would need it, but it's here. We'll try it. I can probably tell you that I would not include it on mine if I did the build. But if they're giving us extra pieces, kind of like that PDB, I'm not going to use this uh, because that's going to serve no purpose for me. Um, it's has absolutely no feature that would make me feel safe about using it to connect to my flight controller. So I probably wouldn't use it. But they include it, so for right now, I'm gonna to try to use it as much as I can and make sense out of this. Although I don't know what the hell this is for. Maybe a rear camera? I guess, I don't know, that doesn't even make any sense. Okay, let's put that right here. I'm assuming this is where this goes and it does look like that's where it goes. This, I'm going to have to try to figure out where the heck they want this to go because I don't even, I don't see a spot for this, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's just put the fasteners on real quick. 
see if we can make sense of this one. Wait a minute, that can't go here. That's got to go into the, what the heck? So that's going to go into the standoff. All right, so this is going to go like this. So those two are going to screw in here. So this is just going to go right here, I guess. And that's that. Let's go ahead and tighten that one down. Try to make sense out of this weird piece. Okay. And these will go right here. So let's give that a shot. See what happens. Okay, <laughs> still don't get it, but okay. All right, now, my camera pieces fell out when I lifted this up. You go ahead and put that back in. Okay, now, um, we know that the long screws will not fit all the way down there, so let's use the shorter ones. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. screws on this thing. I had the uh, bit for it for the power uh, tool, but I don't see it right now. Okay. Oh, well, I only got a couple more anyway. And then last one is right here. Okay. Tighten it up. Put a little plate down. I don't need that on there right now anyway, so let's just take that off. All right, now let's fasten everything else down. Yeah, those look like that's it. All right. Oh, that's pretty solid. That sucker's not going anywhere. Um, extremely solid. God darn. All right, so I'm going to put this plate on here just because they're kind enough to include it, and they did give some extra parts. Um, I like these pieces right here. I do not know what this is for. I'm going to go see real quickly if I can find where they would say to put this. So give me one second. Let's see. sign of that piece at all 
so I really wish I could tell you, but I don't know. Uh, so for right now, I think I will just start looking, and I still don't see it. I don't understand the purpose of this piece. I don't see it in any of the builds or any sample builds. So for right now, though, I will tell you that this is pretty much what we've got left here. And I mean, I'm trying to think. This is a this is a M2 hole, so it's got to go for an M2 screw. And I really don't know where the heck you would use an M2 screw at. Uh, and I don't see it on any of the company uh, pictures. So uh, for right now, I'm just going to take the extra pieces and all these extra screws and everything that aren't needed. So that's our build right there. Okay, uh, we could put the um, nylon fasteners or the ni yeah the nylon fasteners can go on. Although I just dropped it, uh, so you can put those on to hold the plate down. But other than that, I really don't see uh, a reason for some of these pieces, unless they're just throwing in extra pieces like like this PDB. I don't know what that costs, but it's definitely not necessary. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Let me just kind of do this, and here we go. So here's the board right here, okay? Oh, that's right, I wanted to do the weight. So let me get the weight. Let me move all this stuff out of the way real quick. Let's go back to our table, and let's get the scale. And here we go. Okay, so again, let's calibrate, make sure we're at 50 grams. There we go. And the frame weighs 132 grams, okay? Pretty stout, pretty stout frame, though. Uh, I'm sure you could shed some weight of this by taking off some of the stuff that's not needed. But then again, I'm not here to worry about that. I just want to show you what we got. I am very impressed with the quality of this frame. So it does look like they did a good job. Um, it's good. Okay, guys. So listen, that pretty much does it. So that's the Martian 2. Uh, what was that? The 220. Um, and uh, you find that on our website too. If you have any questions, always email me at targetcyclonefpg.com. Please subscribe to us and also follow us on Facebook, guys. It really helps, all right? I appreciate it. Get the word out and send some people our way. Could really appreciate the, the help on that, okay? Other than that, Christmas is around the corner. Whoops. Hold on a second. Eh, boom. Christmas is around the corner, and that means that everybody's kind of stressing about stuff. Guys, remember this. Uh, go spend time with your family. Don't worry about how much you spend. Just spend time. Don't worry about how much money you spend, I mean. Um, it's not about that. And I know the kids really love it, but I promise you, most of you have had kids know that when they're really young, you buy them something, they play with the box more than they do with the toy. And as they get older, you need to be there for them and have some fun with them. Uh, I wish I'll see my kids this Christmas, but unfortunately, thanks to the morons in our legal system, I won't get a chance until my appeal's done. So, uh, you know, you guys don't end up in that situation. Spend as much time as you can, okay? Uh, God bless, guys. Enjoy safe flying, and I'll see you soon. Bye.